Hey guys, for today's video, we're doing a festival slash spring meets summer tutorial. I was thinking through a lot of Instagram, all of these super colorful pastel glittery looks. So I got super inspired and I was like, you know what, I haven't done a tutorial in a while. So we're sitting down together and we're doing that, which is why I don't have anything on my face and just my brows on and concealer on my face. So if you're in for a tutorial, then just keep watching. <laughs> hey guys, so just like I said, I just primed my eyes. One of the things that I really did notice while checking out those festival looks, especially during the summer as well, I see that people take it down a notch with the brows. So as you can see, my brows aren't like intensely defined. So what I did was I used the NYX Brow Glue. This is a product that I've been really, really liking. A friend of mine showed it to me. She works with uh, lash lips and brows all the time. So she recommended this product and it's really, really good, especially for very thick brows, very kinky hair. This is really good because I feel like it's very strong and it really pulls the hair up. So that's something that I learned as I looked through all those pictures. So I'm just gonna get started. I think this is gonna be pretty quick. Just gonna suggest you guys to grab onto any glitter and bright eyeshadow that you have around here with colors because I have four, four palettes with me because I don't have one that, you know, have, has everything together. So if you have any palettes like that, definitely leave them down below. I have four <laughs> that I'm gonna work with. So this is a palette that I recently acquired. <laughs> it was my aunt who gave this to me and I'm in love with it. It's a, it's a Too Faced Pretty Rich palette. I had never heard of this. Too Faced has been a brand that I've kind of forgotten about. Honestly, after they were born this way, foundation and concealer, I feel like I haven't really been driven to try any of their products, but this was gifted and I honestly fell in love. Like I love the color story, but the glitters are to die for. Like the mattes are really good too, but the glitters. So I'm gonna take the highly selected shade. It's a nice pinky eyeshadow. I'm just gonna put that in the inner corner of my eye up until kind of around the middle. Can you just see how intense that pink is? I just touched my eye and it got super pinky. I love it. I love this shade. It's very soft and reflective at the same time. It's weird but I like it so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to apply very bright purple here this palette is the Luddy London Ibiza palette it's a neon palette I really like it for the quality I hate the smell but we can work through that I'm just gonna make kind of like a wing So if you look at my face, it looks a little harsh, like the light purple and the pink. But my tip would be that if you're meshing uh, together colors that don't match, you either mix them with glitter. But another tip that could be is just being very blatant about the fact that you don't wanna blend these two colors. Because another way that you can wear makeup is when you don't blend it. So it looks, looks very edgy and very trendy because you're purposely not trying to mix them. The only thing that will look bad is the in-between. The badly blotched eyeshadow that you tried to blend together but didn't. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to blend two glitters together. So I'm going to use the ColourPop Energetics um, white eyeshadow. This is a really nice super buttery iridescent glitter and then I'm gonna use the Too Faced Diamond Life because this one's chunkier. I do like the mix of these two. I already blend them in my hand and they looked really, really nice. And it also gives that, that ump of festivity and you know, that summer vibe of like, ah, oh, you're going to beach party that night and have that iridescent look. So I'm gonna use those two glitters together and we're gonna see how those two actually blend the pink and the purple together. And I kind of like grounds the look as well. Okay, so I accidentally layered the glitter wrong because actually the diamond light is less chunky than the ColourPop, so I actually wanted to put the chunky one on top, but it still looks really good. It still looks very festive, and I love the fact that because it's iridescent, it just shows a different color. So I upped up the light just because I just wanna show you guys, I don't like how so much light looks on my face, but I wanted to show you guys what the eyeshadow looks like with light hitting it. It's just very reflective, it shows different colors, and again, because it's iridescent and I have purple and pink, it just grounds the look. Looks like I'm going to Coachella and we're going anywhere. I'm gonna do the dishes after this. <laughs> so the last thing I wanna do with this look is to Finish off the festivity with a uh, fresh cut in my inner corners. Yeah, I wanted to include like 
the green, something out of place because that's what festival looks are. It's just mashing on a lot of bright colors together and just making it work. So I'm just gonna put that in my inner corner. Fear not, I feel like it'll all make sense once my face is done. So obviously for like summer or any festival, I'd recommend like a waterproof, but I'm just gonna use whatever, whatever lash look if I'm staying home. I'm gonna use the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. I don't know, maybe I'm feeling Too Faced lately. <laughs> So I'm gonna do my face real quick and I'm gonna be back with you guys, but I feel like this somewhat makes sense so far. I have a good feeling about what this is gonna turn up looking like, but um, just so you know, I'm gonna keep my face fresh. I want everything to be light because when you are out in the sun, you're sweating and whatnot. Well, at least me, I don't like to feel heavy and I don't like to worry about the fact that my makeup is going to melt in me, but I'd rather have it slowly disappear into the day or stay intact, intact but light. Hey guys, so I'm back. I just did my whole face and I kept it super fresh and light. So I'm gonna finish up my eyes. I think I am just going to put purple across the lower lash line to see what that looks like. I'm tempted to use glitter, <laughs> but another type. <sighs> There's just so many pretty glitters here. So, so much texture that I, I just need to put something here. I think I'm gonna put Fluent and Diamonds here, like just connecting the green and the purple and see what that looks like. And also I have a golden highlighter, so we'll see. Okay, so I do like a lot how that looks. I feel like I'm pushing this look because I'm getting so like colorful with it, but I do wanna wear liner. I feel like I feel like it's incomplete without formal liner. Just tying everything together, tying this festival look. Question is, should I use this light blue liner for this look? I think so. Let's see, if not, I'll just take it off. Oh, by the way, this liner is in France. I do like it a lot. The ColourPop liners are stellar. Good, I'm into it. And to end the eyes, I'm just gonna put this tart uh, lash, just because I do like how this looks on the lower lash lines. It's really nice because it keeps them very thinned out and very long and separated. This is the Lights Camera Lashes. This is what the eye makeup is looking like, and I really like it. I feel festival and summer ready with this. I don't care what anyone has to say. And obviously we're gonna end up this look with the fabulous Fenty Gloss Balm because I feel like this gloss screams summer more than anything. It's glittery and it's thick. It's a thick gloss and it just shines and the sun just <sighs> reflects on it so beautifully. So this is the one that I'm picking. I also like the fact that it has a lot of golden glitter in this so I feel like it just ties everything together but not overshadowing the eyeshadow. Hey guys, this is what the final face and eye makeup turned out as. I really like it. It literally makes me feel so full of joy. I am so happy that this, I haven't done this in such a long time. I get more playful and creative when I'm sitting down here and talking to you guys. Also, I don't know what the hell is going on with my curls. I hope you enjoyed this video and had a little fun with me talking about makeup. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.